I did a job in Las Vegas with a, a former United player. Uh, I won't name him because it was a chat in, in private and he, he said, how do you think we'll do this season? I said, third, maybe push for second. And he just laughed at me. And this is a fella who made over 400 appearances. He just went, not a chance. He said, seventh, eighth. And I said to him, not a chance. So we agreed to disagree. He's looking the more accurate one at the moment, isn't he? There was a point, Andy, after Mario Cardi missed the penalty last night. Alejandro Ganacho had a little jinky run, which was blocked by Bardakai, the Galatasaray defender. It was very good on the night, actually. But after that, it was an interesting moment on Irish commentary. About five minutes to go, uh, the point made was United are always dangerous late on, historically. They score late goals, you know, under Alex Ferguson. You're going back to the Ferguson days. But if anyone was going to score again, it was Galatasaray to make it 4-2. Sasha Boy and Icardi himself had two more chances in injury time. The closest United came was Anthony Martial had a deflected effort which the keeper saved from Slera, but it turned out to be offside. Like, there's a myriad of issues at Manchester United at the moment, Andy. But is that not deeply concerning, the lack of fight? Yeah, yeah. The team are just not very good. So <laughs> this is all a symptom of that. And... United last night were, were a counter-attacking side, but when you lose possession, so if you look at Amrabat's ball, which set up one of the Galatasaray um, goals, the third goal, um, intercepted and straight away United are under pressure. Uh, I saw the Martial effort. I saw Garnacho wiggling his way towards goal. It's just so frustrating. So that points to a lack of confidence. You've seen that in, in Marcus Rashford, who scored uh, one in nine. I can actually pick out one positive. I thought Rashford's Hoyland was excellent. Mm. I thought he led the line really well. He got his goals. And that was just about the only encouraging, maybe Mason Mount's energy. And he had three, four, five shots. None of them really looked like close to scoring. United are starting well. They're starting well in, in Munich against Bayern Munich away. It, it's getting to that first 20 minutes and then something happens, usually a goal's conceded, and everything changes, and you can feel the tension in the stadium. There was no Red Army section last night that was missed inside Old Trafford, especially because the Galatasaray fans were, were so loud. Not sure whether some players would notice that, but I did, because it feeds into the overall atmosphere. And it's one of doom that prevails, and that goes into deeper issues about the ownership of the club, the uncertainty about what is happening next. But it's also a rinse and repeat cycle. Managers come in with very high reputations, do well for a time, maybe even win a cup, go on, go on good runs, and then it all implodes. And we've seen it with Jose Mourinho, with, with Louis van Gaal, with, with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and we're seeing it now with Eric Ten Hag. I mean, he's, he's a top manager. 